Welcome to episode 384 of the HRC Marathon Training Vlog. MK here, and today is a special episode because it is the very first recorded episode of Coaches Club, a weekly discussion during which some of the athletes who I coach share their perspectives on all kinds of aspects of marathon training from favorite workouts to balancing running with work and family. It's where you can get a diverse range of insights from my very good friends whom you may be able to connect with on a personal level. Today's topic is my reason why, and we're going to couple that with how I fit marathon training into my life schedule if we have the time. So let's get into it. Today we have in the discussion Johnny, Evan, David, Cole, Haven, Ruben, John, Kevin, Alec, Coach Alex, Colin, Anita, and Megan. Thanks everybody for joining in on Coach's Club discussion. All right, we're going to kick off today's topic with my reason why. Um, hey, Cole, do you want to be the first to offer um, your reason why you are a distance runner or you are a marathoner? Uh, sure. So I think for me, there's two main reasons why I choose to marathon. I think the first one is uh, for, for like me personally, like for my health, um, so I can like uh, stay fit while like eating whatever I want. Um, and yeah, so I think the first reason is for myself. And so, um, I think also, uh, that also means like using running as possibly a uh, gateway into the future, uh, whether it's something, um, that's related to my job, for example, um, I, I am also considering like being like a coach like you. Uh, and using running to you know help establish that, and I, uh, the second reason why for me I think is because I want to help uh, Evan, you know, uh, with her Olympic goals and uh, you know help train with her and help coach her a little bit as well along the way so that she can achieve her goal for the uh, twenty twenty eight Olympics. So those are my two reasons why. It's it's really good that you are looking into the future and very mature of you and also very altruistic and selfless of you to to look out for your sister. Wow, that's that's really impressive. Anybody else want to share their reason why? Let's keep it rolling. I love your answer, Cole. It's really cool that you want to help out your sister and also like, you, you know, you don't, um, you acknowledge the fact that you also are doing it for yourself. And um, my reason why is I, I want to push myself and, and see how far I could push myself mentally and, and physically. Um, that's why I do it. That's why I do I run marathons, so completely selfish. <laughs> I mean, I think that's selfish for a very good reason. I think um, testing yourself and testing your limits and seeing how far you can go, um, it really is uh, a testament to um, how strong you are and how strong you want to be. And I think that's very impressive as well. Mine ties pretty close to Ruben, so I can go next. Um, Kind of like he was saying, we we get one shot at this life and definitely just want to see what I can accomplish, how far I can push my body. And I think my job as a physical therapist helping the elderly population day in and day out really ties into it. Because at the end of the day, I know one of the things that have has popped up is how mentally, how tough these workouts can be and how some of us are struggling a lot. But if we really look at it into pers like put it into perspective, we're blessed to be in a position to be able to do it. The fact that we can get up out of bed on our own, lace up our shoes, go outside. It's these little things that we take for granted. And luckily, it's just something that I'm reminded on a day to day. Because I mean, some of the patients I work with, they literally, they can't go to the bathroom themselves. They can't do a lot of these things. So I think the fact that we're able to lace up, do these things, um, A, it's just a reminder of just enjoying life and trying to push as much as we can. But yeah, that's kind of a long dragged out answer but that's kind of my reason why i don't think that's long at all i think that's a a, a very good reason Th thanks for thanks for sharing that yeah my my why is kind of like a combination of Owen and rubens um one is definitely like being able to eat whatever you want not really have <laughs> to <laughs> care about what you need to like really diet on and yeah the second is you know uh just being very competitive with yourself like seeing how fast you can push yourself, seeing the time in the stopwatch and then touching back on it a month or a week 
after and seeing how how much better you can be. Um, yeah, so those are my two. It's mostly eating and the competitiveness. I think running is one of the the special athletic endeavors where you really can truly compete with yourself and you can compete with yourself on a daily basis. And um, you have an opportunity every single day to do better. And I think that it makes uh, the running community kind of special so that even, even though we we are at a race and we're running with other people at a race. The competitors are so supportive and really helpful to each other. And I think it's a really special community, um, a community of fierce competition, but a lot of support as well. So I think, I think it's a very special place. And I, I appreciate what you said about just being competitive with yourself. So for me, it's pretty simple. I turned 40 and I had a midlife crisis and I was like, am I still fast? Can I do these things anymore? So no, for real, um, I've been doing, you know, a lot of races over my, my career since college and everything. And I wanted to go back to something that was pretty straightforward and simple for me, which is just running. I've done triathlons and there's a lot, it's complicated. This is very simple. And, um, I want to see if I can be faster than I was when I, uh, was in college and I struggled to stay healthy. And so my goal now is to stay healthy and to see what I can reach and hopefully be really competitive for my age group. So that's kind of what motivates me just to show that like, I can still do it and I can still beat some of those young guys that are out there. How fast is fast? How fast do you want to be Colin? I mean, after talking to you, I want to be in the two forties. That, that sounds like it's a real, <laughs> maybe not my next marathon, but I think there's a world in, in which I get in the two forties. I think so too. I think so too. Um, just a little background. Uh, Colin was a prep school star and um, he ended up running for Princeton as well in college. So, but like he, he mentioned, um, his college career was riddled with injuries and uh, it was, it was a tough time. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So for me, kind of similar, I guess. Um, I kind of just want to be the best version of myself that I can be. Um, I've had moments in life where I've been good at certain things, lacking in others. So I'm just trying to bring it all together now, physically, mentally, professionally, just kind of want to strive for uh, the best version of myself. Well, you're definitely doing a good job of that. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, John is a good friend and a, and a role model for me. I, I love the way he lives his life and uh, um, working super, super hard in every every facet. Definitely role model. I appreciate you, John. Uh, Thanks, man. Yeah, for me, it's all about the uh, challenging myself uh, on a daily basis. And um, I just uh, having never really been a runner in the past. Um, I fell in love with it this year and um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm even, even enjoying the grind of the, of the base build right now. So um, but the I guess my ultimate why is uh, to get to Boston um, mm -hmm. one of these days. So uh yeah hopefully soon that'll happen and um yeah so that's my why what what is your um what is the qualifying time for uh boston for your age group for my age group is going to be three well it's 325 but i think i have to get get in by 319 319 so, that, so i, think that's a, <laughs> I don't uh, think it's a big ask i think okay. just, just from the way that you've been just crushing runs and just going out there on a daily basis, running seven days a week, you know, going from, you know, running almost nil to running seven days a week, all of a sudden, and just absolutely crushing with such a great attitude. I think like the sky's the limit for you, Kevin. I think it's going to be, it's going to be a wild and fun ride. I think you're, I think it's going to be a ton of fun. I appreciate that. Thank you. You just, uh, you've been awesome MK to work with. So I really appreciate that. My reason why is it just helps me stay resilient in an extremely stressful career field. And it, I feel like it also just helps me be the best mom I could be and be a role model for my kids. Yeah, running is a, a really great outlet for for stress release and just uh, decompressing and having time to yourself. Um, Megan catches bad guys for a living. And uh, I'm sure I'm sure there can be a lot of uh, stressful situations, but um, 
one thing one thing I definitely want to say is thank you for the important work that you do. You're you're truly a superhero taking care of business out in the community and then just taking care of your whole family and then also just crushing these giant marathon training schedules. Like, um, I don't know how you do it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like so impressed and it's so motivating and inspiring. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm really excited for this weekend because we have a huge to catch a predator operation going on in our city led by me. So pretty excited to protect our kids out there. Thank you so much, Megan. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, my reason why I marathon is mostly because um, I want to qualify for the Olympic trial. And um, yeah, and also because Cole and Haven have like a chance of getting into the Olympic trials too mm -hmm. if they try hard enough. So I want to run with them and build my... Um, marathon journey with them and see if we can all go to the Olympic child as a family. Awesome. Which Olympics do you want to try to qualify for? Uh, LA 2028 Olympics. You know, you can, you can qualify for the 2028 Olympic trials and the 2032 Olympic trials, the 2036 Olympic trials, the 2040 Olympic trials. You're special because you get to, you get to, attempt to make five or six Olympic teams. And that's special because most athletes can only attempt maybe two or maximum three Olympic teams because the Olympics are only held every four years. But you're a special case because you're starting at just the right time where you're competitive enough to make the trials and you can do it at a younger age. And then that will give you a better chance of making an Olympic team in the future. Awesome. We're not just going for the uh, participation award, right? We're yeah. trying to make the team. All right. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I think uh, Evan is in a really special case. She's very fortunate to have started um, kind of slow running or jogging and distance running at such a young age. And um, and have, have she's found this interest in the marathon. And um, as she matures and gets physically stronger, the progression of um, marathon times is progressing with her physical maturity and her mental maturity. And I think that um, that kind of progression for that maturity progression, along with your um, running progression, your marathon skill progression is kind of going pretty steadily together. And it'll be just the right timing in 2028 for you. So uh, I'm really proud of you. I think my ultimate why um, is, uh, you know, I'm I'm almost 50, and uh, I don't I don't feel that old, but I know I'm not young anymore. Um, but I just want to uh, kind of like what John said, uh, see if I can be the best version of myself um, at this point in time. This point, you know, between. The no longer and not yet. Um, see if I can, you know, uh, live the best version of uh, myself right now. That's why I do marathons. Hmm. I can definitely connect with that because um, Anita and I are the same age, and I also share that kind of feeling. Like Colin mentioned, like turning forty and just wondering, uh, can I still run? And and then I'm I'm wondering if. Um, <clears throat> Like how fast I can run, you know, I'm still wondering that at age close to 50 as well. So, and I feel like, um, uh, although I was sidetracked with injury, I'm actually coming back to, um, the same form that I was a couple of years ago. And I feel like I'm on the momentum now where I'm healthy enough to go beyond that. So, um, yeah, like, uh, I, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that. It, it gives me kind of a, a new new motivation as well, um, kind of a rebirth. Um, I I, I kind of disagree about calling it a midlife crisis. I th I think it's um, kind of a midlife opportunity to of self improvement, and um, I think the crisis would be like you know going kind of crazy and trying to relive youth and buying like things, and I think that's like what I what I associate with that kind of crisis kind of behavior but like um but i think i think 
running has enabled me and Anita and, and, and Colin, I'm going to lump you in there as well, but it's an opportunity to do better, do more, um, not redo, but do better. And, uh, I think it's a great opportunity and it's, it's fun and exciting. And yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy this time spending with, um, Cole Haven Evan and all my friends in all heart. We want to honor the space between the no longer and not yet. I think we're doing a pretty good job. So I think I think for me it's changed. I think when I counted, I've been running for 25 years now. So uh, kind of washed up and has been. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but I think right now, you know, it's it's really enjoyable. You know, I think one of the main things is is health, of course. So like Cole mentioned, you know, being able to eat what you want. But yeah, you know, it, of course, as you get older you know, exercising becomes much more important. Um, but also I think, you know, like the community around running is really strong. And I think it's it's something that's pretty special. Um, so I know, you know, I'm I'm pretty new to All Heart, but, you know, I still have some friends from 15 years ago and, uh, and we still do track workouts together. And, you know, it's great to to share that time out there on those runs. I mean, we're not as fast as we were 15 years ago, but you know, keeping those relationships and and going through that time together, I think is is really, really special. And and being able to keep it, you know, is really, really nice. So I think it's, you know, kind of more about the journey, being able to to share those with the community, with the club, you know, with friends and uh and sharing the time together. So I think that's that's why I keep up with it now. Awesome. How about you, Haven? What's your reason why? My reason why is I think part of it is for health, like so that once I do work out, I can eat a lot of the food that I want to eat without, you know, worrying or anything like that. Um, and also, I think it's like it helps with, I guess, college applications, showing that I have like the grit and like the drive to work hard. And maybe if I can improve well on my marathoning I could increase or like do better and get maybe three hours and then under and then yeah yes yeah, it's, it's a really good way to show resolve it's really really good way to show determination a really good way to show responsibility and schedule management um I mean it's a big time investment it's like 18 hours a week for you that's a gi that's giant that's giant so um uh just later in a he even runs 75 miles per week so that's a big big time investment um running at around eight minutes per mile or 8 30 per mile so on average so so yeah like um i think that telling that story is a is a good affirmation of those qualities of responsibility of time management of determination and resolve um it's a good way to to be able to illustrate that through through storytelling on your college application, I, I think that's a excellent way to do it. Just playing off of Haven's uh, reason why and uh, demonstrating the the maturity, the resolve, and 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 also like time management skills um, to colleges. Um, I'm really interested in knowing how you guys, because like I know the that the the volume ranges a lot within this group um but it's still a lot to fit in a busy day and um how do you how do you fit it into your life schedule for me i had to make a, an adjustment in uh, my sleeping habits my daily routines or my nightly routines um and i think it's um i've done two other marathons prior um and i'm a night owl and having umk like me committing to going above and beyond and trying to um go above my normal like times uh i've challenged myself to build better habits uh going to bed earlier waking up earlier um and making the time and effort to to go on my runs um whereas before it was I was still, I was making, I was doing 45 miles a week and now you're going to, you've challenged me to do 52 miles and upwards of 72 miles a week. And 
I've accepted that challenge. And so with that challenge, um, I've kind of had to like step up commitments. When you made the adjustment, did you carve out time in the mornings now to do your runs? I do. So I go to bed earlier and then I wake up uh, earlier. So a um, little background, I, I work, I go in at nine. So I have to make sure that I'm up uh, before six and on the road um, in the pavement. Uh, just like uh, by like 6.50 at the latest. So I could come home on time and shower and all that stuff and go to work. Yeah, so uh, for me, um, I have two daughters um, and I'm a single father. So I kind of, uh, as of lately, I've been running at nighttime after they go to sleep. So I'm getting them runs in like around 9 p.m., 10 p.m.-ish time. Um, so it's a little tough with the uh, being so late at night and usually having a full stomach after dinner and whatnot and trying to get these runs in. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to manage to get up at six in the morning and get a run in. Um, I've woken, I've woken up at six in the morning for the past two weeks. Now I just haven't managed to get out of bed yet, but I'm waking <laughs> up. So, uh, so I'll, I'll be there soon though. <laughs> yeah, there's there's actually a, a good trick. I, I had a hard time doing that too, but like I have a dresser that is like opposite from my bed. And what I do is I put my phone there. So when the alarm rings, it forces you to get up and get your phone and turn and turn off the alarm. And by the time you're up on your feet array, you're you're just gonna like naturally just do it. That's a good one. Any any other tips? Yeah, I have my um clothes ready, uh my shorts. Oh, and yeah. Um and I make sure I, I put it in the living room. Um, so I know it's like, okay, like once I step out outside, uh, into the living room, that's, it's time to change. Mm -hmm. Evan does that. Evan lays out her clothes too. Yeah. I really like the taste of my gels and everything. So now I'm like excited to, to go for my run. Cause it's the time where I have the gels and the, and <laughs> all the stuff. So like, that's like a perk to me of, of working out. Um, also when I have to run on the treadmill like i put shows that i will only watch when i'm running on the treadmill so i'm oh, like yeah. if i do the run on the treadmill to get extra miles and then i can watch the shows i want but i'm pretty lucky in that my whole i have two girls also and they go to the same school my wife works at so when they all leave at 7 15 in the morning i have the next couple hours to get my workout in um before i start work and it's really great it makes sure that like i have time allotted my struggle is more so with the other stuff, the strength training and all those things. And so it's really trying to find time to do that. But um, it's really, it's the flexibility of kind of working from home gives me the ability to, to knock the workouts. I'm not a morning person, but I want to get it done. So mm -hmm. it's been really helpful. Hey, Kevin, um, can you give us a little insight on um, how you're fitting it in with um, your job, your family? And not only are you um, trying to knock out the marathon training, and doing it at a pretty high volume and that volume is constantly increasing every every three weeks but you're also working in swimming and cycling and trying to compete in the ironman coming up um at the end of summer so um can you give us a little insight on how you're getting all of that done that's a that's a lot to juggle yeah definitely um it's it is a challenge um, I started the Ironman build um, this week, so it's uh, definitely something new to fit in with all the running that's going on. Um, but just with the running part, um, the last couple months since I started the plan with you in, in early April, um, I've, I can't, it's hard for me to do, to run after work. So I do all my running in the morning, but I've been having to get up super early, like at five o'clock, sometimes 4.30 in the morning. Uh, and do my runs, um, my swimming and biking. Usually, um, it's on a on the weekends, and it's on a day when I have it off. Like Mondays, I, I usually have it off, which is nice. So I'll do my long swims in the in the morning along with the run. Um, same with the bike. I'll usually do the, my long bike on Saturdays. And so right now, what I've been doing is doing the run first, and then I'll bike afterwards. And, um, and then I'll do the long run on Sundays. So 
Um, yeah, it's definitely been a challenge. Like today, for instance, was the first time I've done a 10 mile run midweek before work. Mm -hmm. So I had to get up at four o'clock in the morning and, and do that. So, uh, but you know, I, I'm up for the challenge. Uh, it's, it's something to, um, yeah, it, to work towards. Um, now I'm actually, I, now my body, I just naturally get up at five o'clock, no matter what, even without an alarm. So I think my body and my mind is used to the schedule so far. It seems like the general consensus for the reason why is to eat whatever. And the general consensus for, um, how to fit marathon training into a busy life schedule is to wake up early and get it done in the morning. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for all of your insight. Can I have somebody please close us out with some wise words? No, I, th I think it was great seeing everybody, everybody explain and, and kind of give the insights of, of what they're training on and, um, and uh, you know, everybody making running work with their schedule. You know, it's like so tough with you know everybody having everything from family to work to other commitments and schedule but you know fitting it in and uh and having the discipline to do it is is really good it's really inspiring as well so i think you know like i said before i think the community is important and, and working as a group is really important right so sharing those experiences and and uh, and hope to continue to hear everybody's experiences going forward thank you definitely can't agree with you more how important this community is to me and also can't agree with you more about how inspiring each and every one of you are hey everybody out there please like this video help get it out to as many people as possible subscribe if you haven't done so already every friday morning we will publish a new coaches club with a brand new topic and with these lovely people Thanks so much for watching and getting all the way to the end of this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. Hey, thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of this video. Please like this video, help get it out to as many people as possible. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It helps out our channel a ton. Paul, Haven, and I, I think we're going to go watch a movie. We hope that you have a great day and a meaningful run. We'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye now.